Hi everybody, Adrian here and today I'm coming to you with a haul from Tam Beauty uh, with some Makeup Revolution products and some products from iHeart Makeup. I ordered these products back on New Year's Eve. I'm just now getting around to recording this haul. I got really, really sick in February and didn't have a voice for a couple of the weeks in February and so I'm trying to get all caught up on all the Christmas shopping that I did and purchases that I made in January. So this haul came to me about two days shy of three weeks after I ordered this. Um, I knew that it was going to take a while to get the order in. I was told beforehand by some other people that ordered from the TAM Beauty website that it could take about three weeks and it was the end of the holiday season after they had all of their specials and whatever they were doing with that so shipping did take a while but when I got my package and it arrived um, I did have some damage to my package it's like somebody dropped something heavy on top of the package and crushed it it didn't ruin everything in the package just a couple of eyeshadow palettes and the first one that had damage to it was a uh, this one, the Chocolate Vice package, um, I did notify Tam Beauty and they did go ahead and send me out another palette. This palette, when I got it, it was crushed and cracked and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is the new one. This part right here was so cracked that uh, the whole palette of eyeshadow would fall out. The shadows weren't damaged, but the case was and this would flop out. Yeah, so now I ended up with two different pans of color because of the damage to the packaging of the other palette. But um, this is actually the palette that I'm wearing on my face now. This is the look that I have on now. And I have already filmed the review of this palette. I have a full review of this palette that will be coming up in the next few days. And it'll also show you how I got this eye look. But um, this palette uh, comes with a little insert that goes over the colors like this that tells you the name of the colors. I'm not going to hang on to these. These are a pain in the butt. We'll leave it flipped up here to help calm down some of that glare. I'm going to stick some swatches out to the side, but these palettes, um, I like them so far. The swatches you'll see are really rich and buttery and the pigmentation is awesome in these palettes. This does seem to be more of a warm tone palette. The eye look that I have on now is really, really peachy, and I do like it, but this is a really warm palette. Another cool thing about the way these palettes are laid out is this shade here is a shimmer shade, and it works awesome for strobing or a highlight powder. This one is more of a matte, but, um, I like these palettes a lot and when you smell them after you start using them a little bit it does smell like kind of vanilla and chocolate mixed together not like a cocoa powder or anything but you can smell um, a chocolate scent in it like I can smell this palette right now but it's nothing really strong or overbearing so this is the chocolate vice palette and uh, it says 1432 on the website I think once that it got converted to from what is it what do they call it euro to um, American dollars it was fifteen dollars and something but I ordered over seventy five dollars worth of product from the Tam Beauty website so that I was sure I would get free shipping so I can't remember what I paid for that because the end of January was a long time ago but that product came in a box like this that palette did and on the back it also had a color swatch so that's nice that they took the time to package it at all. The next palette I got is the Naked Chocolate Palette. And these packages are so adorable. They look like melted chocolate, like a melted chocolate bar. So uh, the packaging is so cute. I, I can't stay away from it. I want to buy all these palettes, even though some of them are not my color. They still, the packaging is just adorable. And it's got that little insert there so you know what the colors are and this is kind of a rose gold palette I let this fall out earlier so I wouldn't drop it um, the chocolate vice palette also came with a sponge tip applicator which I like a lot for packing on lid shades and it's got the two big pans of highlight powder um, I'm gonna stick swatches out to the side so you can see what this palette looks like it's got a lot of really nice colors in there and the pigmentation to these colors is really great. Um, this costs the same as the Chocolate Vice palette, which is 
probably $15 in some sense. I can't remember what it converted to from Euro to American dollars. So uh, this is the chocolate, naked chocolate palette. And I like this palette a lot. I'm going to do a full review of this palette individually and create some looks with it. But this is a favorite and it also has that vanilla chocolatey smell. I can smell it from here. It's not really strong and I actually like that smell so it doesn't bother me at all. But this is great pigmentation with this product and I can't wait to do the review of this palette for you guys. And I did get the um, Salted Caramel palette but I'm not going to be able to show you that palette. The Salted Caramel palette is a dupe for Too Faced uh, Semi Sweet chocolate bar palette. Uh, I looked at the Semi Sweet chocolate bar palette several times in the store and it the colors didn't look like they would be right for me but I felt like I was going to be missing out on something if I didn't buy that palette. So I went ahead and ordered the dupe from Makeup Revolution because I'd heard that they did a really good job of duping the Too Faced palettes and I got the palette and I will say the pigmentation of that palette was awesome but I had an allergic reaction to an eyeshadow palette and the next day I wasn't even thinking. I used my makeup brushes on that salted caramel uh, palette and my eyes were almost swollen shut the next day uh, when I woke up. So that whole salted caramel um, palette got contaminated with the other palette so I can't even pull that out to show it to you. I opened the drawer that it's in this morning to pull it out so I could show you guys for the video and my face immediately started to itch and uh, feel tingly and my lips started feeling like they were swollen up. So I left it where it was, but I'm going to pop a picture up and talk a little bit about that palette. Um, I am happy that I bought the Makeup Revolution or Tam Beauty's version of that palette and didn't buy the original Too Faced palette because it was just as I suspected those colors weren't going to work well for me. The pigmentation of that palette was awesome. The quality was awesome. So I'm pretty bummed that I don't get to swatch those for you guys and show you what those colors look like. But um, there was nothing wrong with the quality of the palette. The colors just don't work for me. A lot of the transition shades are taupey like a taupe brown color and on my yellow undertones with my skin that tends to look like muted mud on me and it uh, doesn't pop it just looks like the makeup's wearing me it doesn't look like anything that's accentuating me it actually kind of dulls or down my features or takes away from it so the palette, um, as I remember, there was only one shade in there that was kind of a dud, and it's that pink, uh, I think it's called Cake, Cake Shade. That one was kind of a dud and very difficult to build. The color wouldn't build. It's like the glitter that's in it separates from the actual pigment, and that seems to be true to the original Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I've heard lots of people say that that color never builds up. So I guess they did dupe the Too Faced Palette pretty well. And also the blue color, the crunch color in there, it looks very vivid in the palette. But when you do swatch it, it doesn't come off very vivid. So if you're looking at that palette and you're thinking maybe you want to purchase it based on that blue color because it looks like a big pop of color, the color uh, comes off a lot weaker than what it looks like in the palette, but the rest of the colors, if you're someone that uh, taupey browns look great on, I think that palette will work well for you. Uh, the color in there that dupes the peanut butter shade, and I can't remember what it's called uh, for the Too Faced palette, that one is pretty decent, but uh, the quality of that palette is awesome and the black and I think it's called Tempt in that palette the black shade oh my gosh I have I don't know that I've ever seen a black that vivid and creamy and th the pigment was just awesome the pigmentation that palette alone I think the black shade in there that was my favorite color in the entire palette just for the quality of it so if you're into those type of shades, I would definitely recommend that Salted uh, Caramel palette. Uh, I won't be able to review it for you because I'm not going to purchase another one. I am going to give mine away to somebody else since um, I can't use it and I'm scared to even take it out of the packaging again. But yeah, I got that 
palette also and it looked just like the rest of the chocolate bars and that was the end of the chocolate bar palettes that I bought. The rest of the products were, I'm looking down at them now, Makeup Revolution palettes and I bought this one that um, Ultra Contour Light and Shade palette and it's supposed to be a dupe of the Kat Von D palette. I'm going to go ahead and open that up so you're not getting a glare. I'm going to also take this out so that you can see it instead of having a sponge tip applicator. It's got a dual sided brush. One side, this side is the shader and this side is kind of a blending brush here. I don't know how well these are going to work out. I have not tried them yet. This is what the shades look like. I have had time to play in this palette and I am going to do a full review of it. Um, it's kind of nice how they have these colors broken down into quads. The looks are already pre put together for you so you know this all goes together and this all goes together and this all goes together. Of course you can use them um, however you see fit to mix the colors but I'm going to do a full review of them and here's some swatches out to the side so you can see what this palette looks like. I want to say I paid seven dollars in some sense for this. I'm going to have to find the price and pop it up on the screen for you but it was very affordable and reasonable palette as you can see the pigments also really good on this palette with it being an all matte palette it's nice to have solid color with it there are a couple colors that the pigment could have been a little bit better but for seven dollars I think that um, the palette works great I'm actually going to do a full review of the palette and go through what I really liked about the palette and what I didn't necessarily care for but yeah this is a dupe of the Kat Von D palette her shade and light palette and this one's called light and shade and the next product that I got here is the big love palette it came in a box that looked like this a nice hot pink box and it's got a picture of what the palette looked like here up at the top I know you guys can't see that and it came in this nice black lacquer shiny lacquer casing uh, a lot of their palettes come like this and they look really nice but they all look the same so unless you're looking at the label on the back you don't know which palette you're looking at and also this one fingerprints easy even though I like the way it looks it's got that sheet that I'm just gonna let it go ahead and fall and it's got a nice size mirror in there just like the rest of the palettes except for the light and shade palette so um, they're good for travel if you want to do your makeup somewhere I'm going to actually turn this upside down so I'm not blinding you with the mirror since I took that insert out but it's got the double-sided sponge tip applicator and this palette is kind of set up similar to that light and shade palette except it's five colors instead of four these are all shimmery shades so I'm not sure how the looks are going to turn out I know that a lot of people will not wear a whole shimmer shade look that they want their transition colors and their contouring colors to be matte but um, back before makeup rules got so strict uh, we didn't know any better and I used to pull off some pretty great looks with uh, shimmery shades I mean things couldn't be like loaded with glitter and some of these like this shade here is pretty glittery um, and it is the black shade for that uh, color palette so I don't know how I feel about that for uh, the outer V a contouring color but when I do a review of this palette I'm going to do a review of this palette the way it's set up and the way it is they didn't put any matte colors in here and if I'm reviewing the palette and I'm showing you looks from this palette I'm not going to add other colors from other palettes to it because this is supposed to be able to show you what it looks like if you purchase this product in the future maybe in some other videos not the review I may mix some of these shades in with other matte shades but uh, the way it's laid out it looks like it may actually be okay some of them aren't as glittery and sparkly as others but we will see and it's nice that they have uh, these three looks already pre laid out for somebody that's new at doing makeup this can help them instead of handing them a 16 pan or the, I guess this would be a 15 pan um, palette here because you got five shades for each one of these looks hand in that to them at least they know where to start instead of trying to put all the different colors together so this is the big love palette and I'm gonna have to put the price up for you guys because I can't remember what this palette was but I'm anxious to get into this and um, here if I haven't said it already here are some swatches out to the side so that you can see what it looks like but be on the lookout for the review of this palette and that is pretty much it for the palettes that I purchased in um, this order and like I said I would had that damage to the order because this light and shade palette here 
it was totally powder. It um, The casing, it's odd because the casing wasn't cracked on this one, just on the Chocolate Vice palette, but everything in here, there was powder everywhere coming out of the sides of it. It completely crushed and ruined all the powder in this. So if you do have something happen to your order, Tan Beauty is awesome about replacing the product properly. Um, it takes them sometimes a little bit of time to get back to your email and respond with promptness but that could be time zone differences but they got right on it and i got my palette within a week of filing the complaint and showing them pictures of what happened to my product but since my product order did take such a long time to come in they did go ahead and include a free gift and i think they may have discontinued this this is the awesome metals and this one is the color i believe emerald let me take it out and see what it says. It's supposed to be a dupe for some other product. I'm not really into high foil metallic eye shade, so I have no idea what it was a dupe for. Um, it came with this little pan here to mix with, and it came with a mixing medium here. And here's the foil shade, and it is Emerald Goddess is what it's called. And it looks like this. So they included that in with my order because the order took so long. I hope that color is coming across for you. I'm going to do a swatch of it and pop that out. No, I'm not going to pop it out to the side. I'm going to do it live right now. Ooh, look at that pigmentation. That's really kind of chunky and thick. It's, it's more of a creamy feel to it. But let's see what that looks like without the mixing medium. It's a little hard to spread. Maybe with the mixing medium, they go on a little creamier, but that looks pretty foiled. But that color looks pretty intense to me. Um, it's, it's chunky right now, but this is not how it's supposed to be applied. Um, I think I probably would mix it with the mixing medium if I was going to use it. Who knows what kind of look I might create. Typically, I don't wear foil shadows or things that are this vivid, but I'm having fun with this channel and being creative and I may get bored and want to create some look and who knows, I may reach for that. But that was a nice of them to put a gift in my package. Um, I have to say that I'm really pleased with these products so far from the quality that I've seen and the amount of wear that I've had with them. I have a future hauls to do from them. I've purchased a lot of products and like I said, I'm just playing catch up with some of these hauls and starting to get reviews done of each one of these palettes individually. If you haven't ordered from Tam Beauty before, I would definitely recommend their products. Uh, if you're someone who is an Ulta member, uh, what is it, Ulta Rewards Points member, I would recommend going to the Ulta website first and clicking on Makeup Revolution or, um, gosh, now they have some of the chocolate bar palettes on there and looking to see what they have there and possibly ordering it from Ulta first so that you get the rewards points. Also, it's going to get shipped to you a lot faster than waiting the three weeks to have it shipped from the UK because these products do come from overseas. So it takes, I'm sure that makes the shipping take a little bit longer. But yeah, a lot more of this stuff is getting to where you can pick it up at your local Ulta or a lot of times, I don't know about yours, but my local Ulta gets sold out of different things and it's a little bit frustrating, so it's easier for me to just go on the website and order some of those products from them. Uh, but Please be on the lookout for the review of these palettes because I'm going to take my time and go through each one of them. I don't just um, do typically first impressions. Usually when I do a review of a palette, I've used that palette for three or four different times and tried to create as many eye looks out of a palette as I can if I... Don't use a particular color or create a look with it. It's typically because that color does not work with my skin tone. But I feel like if I'm going to be in a palette and telling you guys about it, I want to know how every color in that palette is going to function. So uh, be on the lookout for the uploads of those new videos. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, you want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching again and have a great day.